Hello, my wellness warriors. Are you searching for truth? Are you not loving what you do? This could either mean you're a seven life path, have a seven in your life path, or you're feeling the effects of a Jupiter retrograde in Capricorn. I'm numerologist Trisha Gumberg. I'm talking about the number seven today because it's the universal day energy and it gives us the opportunity uh, to let the seven support us. And what is the energy of the number seven? It is a mystic. Mm, don't you love that word? <laughs> this inner knowing and your higher self, uh, the number seven. It's about um, trust and openness, right? That makes sense that when we are the highest version of ourselves, we are open and trusting. Isn't that beautiful? And then uh, Jupiter and Capricorn. This is where um, you're searching for clarity and truth. Jupiter is um, the, the lucky planet, right? Um, so that's good. And then Capricorn is about work. Uh, very much so. But it's my understanding that Jupiter is like expansive, like including everything. And then Capricorn is like, first we do this and then we do that. <laughs> you know, you know, the big picture. And you can see that conflict, right? You got, you know, you want to accomplish this much in your life and it, it's hard to go, okay, I just need to take this one little baby step. <laughs> uh, shedding some truth on there might help, right? What you can, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the number seven and see what our specific guidance is for the energy of the number seven. Get your bobs in while I pick, tune in and pick a card. Hmm, spiritual. This is, it is my belief that that is what we are being pushed to do right now is to figure out not only what this word means, but specifically what it means for ourselves. You know, discovering that truth. Uh, is, you know, do you want to study numerology? Do you want to study astrology? A dream interpretation? Reiki? Meditation, spirituality, what does it, what's, you know, what's your truth about that? I think that's why all these planets are doing all this wackadoo stuff that they're doing. Mm -hmm. To support us in our spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. Are you getting your bobs in? Self-esteem. Oh, this is um, Archangel Michael. Let's see. Self-esteem. It's a 16 card. One and six is seven. Don't you love when numbers repeat, the energy repeats? This is about integrity, self-expression, boundaries, and convictions. Oh, if you feel like you're the odd man out right now. Oh, because other people don't appreciate your ideas or perspectives. I understand that. Oh, talk to Archangel Michael about this in meditation. 
It can be scary to go against the crowd and stand up for what you believe in, especially if it's unpopular. And I, yes, like when I first started having my intuitive abilities, that was scary. Like, who am I going to talk to about this? My husband's going to think I lost my mind. <laughs> you know, my family's going to, you know, think I'm crazy. Silly, silly fears. Very, you know, in hindsight, yes. They were real at the time, but now, yeah. Don't seek approval. And don't doubt yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't seek approval and don't doubt yourself. So that's seven. So I said if you have a seven in your life path, if you add up all the digits of your birthday down to a compound digit, let's say you're a 37 or a 27 or a 17, or you add these together and you are a seven life path, this uh, truth seeking, it's, um, it's not going to come easy to you, okay? Uh, work on trusting yourself and your own intuition, okay? Work on your self-esteem. And until, yeah, and take those baby steps. <clears throat> and until next time. Know that I love you.